Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T, man. So, uh, bring you another video. You know we got to talk about it, man. My first 24 hours with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, I know I did an unboxing of it. So, if you've seen the unboxing, that was Friday. It's a little bit over 24 hours. So, if you missed that unboxing, I will be linking that above. But, this is more than 24 hours. This is basically my first impressions on what I feel about the phone so far. Now, a disclaimer before I get started, because I know some smart person is going to bring it up in the comments. And, yes, I do have an Apple Watch on. This is my daily watch. I don't have any other watches. So this is what I got on my wrist, no matter what I'm reviewing. So just make that a note. But OnePlus 7 Pro, quick backstory, man. This is your fully loaded variant. This is the highest level. This is your big boy. This is the 12 gig, 256 Nebula Blue model. Yes, I was able to find one. I know tons of people have been asking me, where you get it from? Did you get it off Swap or did you? I've got this bad boy off of Facebook. I paid 400 uh, 400 450 bucks for this phone off facebook 450 brand new sealed in the packaging so that's where i got it from luckily i found someone they had it got it boom done so everybody asked me in the comment section where did you get it from did you get it from here did you get it one plus no i got it off facebook so you'll be surprised what's in your facebook ads man do some diving it's a lot of people out there trying to get people over but there are also some good sellers out there as well so man dig out you never know what you'll be able to find i found this which i never thought i'd be able to find but anyway one plus seven pro what do i feel about it what do i feel about the self-proclaimed phone of the year because we know this is a phone of the year. Everybody's talking about phone of the year. People are commenting on my sections, phone of the year, this is the phone. All right, so what do I think about it, man? We're going to go ahead and break it down into a few you know, topics that I want to talk about. And this is just the first impression. It's not going to be a full review, so don't get it twisted. So let's go ahead and start off with the build quality. Now, me, I have been running this phone naked since I've got it. Yes, they do come with that little flimsy plastic clear case in the packaging, but I'm not using that. I'm a case knob. I'm picky about my cases. So therefore, I'm not using that case. I do have some more high quality cases coming in. I got some ring case speaking of whoever has cases for this. You know, I'm a review and I have them on the way. But right now, the build quality actually is it's good. I mean, it, it feels solid. It feels like a flagship. Nothing feels cheap about it. For the price point of this phone, for even when it first came out, I mean, it's still competitive when we're talking about flagships, we're talking about mid-ranges, whatever you want to call it, but this feels like a flagship. It doesn't feel any more cheap than like an iPhone XS Max or, or my Note 10 Plus or any other phone I got in here, man. It doesn't feel like it's cheaper than that. So the build quality, I have to say, is pretty good. Yes, it does have fingerprints on the back. No, I'm not going to say fingerprint magnet because... What phone isn't a fingerprint magnet these days? They all going to show fingerprints. Just get over it. Wipe it off. Keep your cloth on deck. Wipe it off and you're good. So, yes, it does show a little bit of fingerprints on the back. But so far with me handling it, haven't had an issue with it. The self, the, 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 the factory screen protector is still on. It will bubble up in the corner sometime, but I'll usually smooth it out and then it's gone. Um, of course, I have to find some timber glass screen protectors for it. If I don't, I know the curved screen makes that a little challenging. So... We might be just running it naked, but so far, man, like I said, this was brand new. I don't have any scratches, any dings, and I haven't been like super baby in this device at all. So build quality is pretty good on the OnePlus 7 Pro. I don't really know what they can improve on it, man. Everything is all good when it comes to the build. Now, we got to go ahead and move to the display. So let me go ahead and turn this bad boy on. I have the full brightness on. Now, this display, I said it on Twitter, and I said, let me know. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping or not, man, but I feel like this display is a little bit better I'm, I'm just gonna be a buck i feel like it's a little bit better than a note 10 plus display i know i know everybody's gonna have their opinions everybody's gonna say this display gets way brighter than this display i mean let's see both of them full brightness and that's what you're getting right here they both look about the same to me of course I, we have both of these on quad hd that's the way i'm gonna always run my run my phones but to me man these are the best displays in the game but I don't know, man, for some odd reason, I just really like the Note 10 Plus display. But this OnePlus 7 Pro, I don't know if it's because it's just true bezel to bezel and we have a tiny bezel on this one. And I'm not a bezel snob. Don't get me twisted. I'm not a bezel snob. But it's something about this OnePlus 7 Pro display that I really, really like. And I always say that Samsung makes the best displays. If I'm not mistaken, Samsung made the display on the 7 Pro. I could be wrong, but um, the display is absolutely beautiful, man. I really love consuming media on it. And that's part reason why I always have to have an Android phone on me. I know I'm an iPhone person, but I always have to have an Android because I love watching media. I love watching YouTube. I just love even being on social media, man. Just that Quad HD is so crisp in the text. 
I just love it. So the display is absolutely amazing. I really haven't tested it out on full brightness outside. It's been kind of gloomy for the past few days and over the weekend. So I really haven't given it the full brightness test, but I'm pretty sure it'll be bright enough for me to see. But um, overall, feels very good. I don't get too many phantom touches, surprisingly, like I do on the Note 10 Plus with that curved display. So, you know, it is what it is. But overall, man, display, I really, really like the display. Super high quality. I think OnePlus did an amazing job when it comes to the display. Now, another thing we're going to touch on real quick is One UI. That is the UI that's over OnePlus. That's the Android skin. I don't really have much to say besides it's been flawless. I haven't had one hiccup at all when we are talking about this, man. I mean, when this thing goes, it's just fluent. It's, it's nothing going on with OnePlus UI. To me, they have the best Android skin hands down when it comes out there. Uh, Samsung Experience or whoever it may be, OnePlus just knows how to do it with the oxygen. They just, they just know how to get it done. So don't really have much to say about One UI. Everything I've thrown at this thing has been running flawless. No, I don't play games. I'm not really a big gamer on my phone. I just just something I don't do. If you guys want to see me test it, let me know. But I don't really do gaming on the phone. But everything from day to day tasks, I've been running this phone. It has not had one hang up. So that's been absolutely amazing. Now, another thing that I'm very impressed with. The, le the next two things are things that really was going to make this be the phone of the year for me. And that's battery life. Now, I just put the phone on the charger because it has 7%. But I didn't charge it until like since like yesterday morning when I left out. So that's telling you, man, the battery on this has been crazy solid. And like I said, I did just top it off real quick just to have enough battery to do this to do this uh, review. So it has six hours of screen on time. But as you see, I charged it up just that little bit right there just to give me enough to get through this video. But overall, I'm pulling and this is just my second charge. Really just my I haven't really done a full first, second charge yet. I've been getting straight five hour screen on time right now and it's only going to get better this is only like my one and a half second charge so you already know it's going to be better over time when we are talking about the battery life the battery has been absolutely perfect i mean it doesn't have that iphone standby you still will drain a little bit i know i went to bed last night it was on 63 percent i woke up it was on 51 but I know the phone put itself in like a sleep mode, so that's pretty good. But overall, it's not going to give you that standby that we're getting on the iPhones. It's just not going to do it. No Android phone, I feel like it's going to do that. But for what this is, I'm perfectly fine. It gets me through the day. I'm not a screen on time snob because as long as the phone gets me through my work day and back home, hey, that's all I can ask you. And if it does that for me and it's been doing that for me, then I'm absolutely amazed with the battery life. Um... Maybe after a week, I'll do another update on the battery, just a video on the battery alone. But so far, the battery has been very, very solid. Very impressed with the battery on the 7 Pro. The last thing that I want to touch on really fast is the camera. The camera on the OnePlus 7 Pro, to me, is mediocre. Now, it's not the worst out there. Do not get me wrong. It is not the worst camera out there. But from the phones that I have, and I mean, we're talking about Note 10 Plus, we're talking about iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I can probably grab a, uh, let me see, let's just see what, what else we got over here, man, I still even have the Note 8, I don't know how it compares against that, but, I mean, the Note 9, I'm, I'm all twisted up, man, you get what I'm saying, <laughs> we can pull out, not that one, but we can pull out the S10e, I mean, I feel like out of all of those, out of all of those phones, I really feel like I can take one and snap a better picture than this, just Hands down, I feel like I can just take that out, snap a better picture, and it'll be going. Now, you do see I have two camera apps when we are talking about this phone. I have two camera apps. I have the stock camera app, and yes, I added Gcam. Although I am not a fan of Gcam, I want to see was the hardware really limited. To it? Was it was the software doing the thing that not let this camera just perform the way it should? I know it's not hardware, it's the software. And I think that's what I've came because of the few pictures I have taken with the uh, G cam has actually been pretty good. Now I'm not really gonna put them on screen because I'm not sure what's in my camera app. So we are gonna leave that alone. Maybe I'll do a separate video when we're talking about cameras and compare the two. Um, but I have both camera apps up here because I do wanna do a comparison. But the camera for me has been just okay. I take pictures of my son every day when he leaves out to go to daycare, man. To take a picture of his outfits to send to my parents. With the iPhone, it automatically activates that night mode and it takes an amazing picture. But when I try to do that on the Pixel, I mean, not the Pixel, but the 7 Pro, it just didn't give me that same result. Even switching it over to night mode, it just didn't give me that same result. The colors, it just, 
the pictures to me seem to be really washed out. Now, I will do a better comparison. Like I said, I haven't really been getting out to take pictures because it's been so gloomy. It's been rainy here in Atlanta. But when the weather changes, man, I want to get out there, try to take some pictures to really see what this camera is about. Because I know once again that everybody is saying, oh, this is the hands down phone of the year. A phone can't be a phone of the year to me if your battery isn't up the, not your battery, but if your camera isn't up to par. Your battery as well, but your camera also has to be very up to par because a lot of people depend on cameras. Now, I was a fond believer that I prefer battery over camera. Now, since I have a son, you cherish those cameras. Now, you really want to grasp those moments, man, and you don't have to run and get another phone. Like, I was taking a picture of him this morning. The 7 Pro didn't do what I need to do, and what I do? I ran and got my iPhone. I ran and got this took a perfect picture and I'm done. I shouldn't have to do that. For a phone of the year, it should check all the boxes. This does check majority of the boxes, but there's a few boxes that's lingering and that's the camera. So we will give it some more time. We'll test it some more. I know OnePlus is always adamant about releasing updates to improve things, but I really think this is on a downslope when we're coming about updates because cameras, the phone has been out for a minute. So camera is still unchecked box for me. Um, I do know that as an overall package, people are saying it's the phone of the year for the price. And I get that. I love everything else about this phone. But if a camera is bad, I can't get that shot. I can't record that moment at that time. Then that's a problem with me. And that's where the OnePlus 7 Pro comes. But everything else about this device, I absolutely love, man. I mean, the pop-up camera is just so dope. I, I really feel like that's just a dope feature, man. And I don't know. I just like it, man. It's just it's just a cool overall looking phone. It feels good. I love the color. So stay tuned, man. Stay tuned for this because, of course, to be phone of the year, and I'm going to tell you, it's only three in my book, you're going to have to beat the 11 Pro Max and you're going to have to beat the Note 10 Plus for you to be phone of the year. My phone of the year is going to come out of these three devices, just being real. I'm still going to do a phone of the year for 2019. I'm still going to do it. Even though it's 2020, I'm still going to do it. But it's going to have to beat these three. If it doesn't beat these two, I'm sorry. If it doesn't beat these two, this can't be the phone of the year. So unless this camera really shows me its true identity, then one of these is going to be my phone of the year. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into that and we're going to compare them more so not to the iPhone because I'm not really a fan of comparing iOS to Androids. But I'm really going to compare this between this. But these are one of these will be in my pocket right now. This, the SIM card is out of this one, and I'm not using this right now currently, but before the OnePlus 7 Pro, this was in my pocket every single day. The Note 10 Plus was in my pocket every single day paired with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, I want to compare these two together, man. I'm going to do a little compare and contrast video where I compare the Note 10 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro because this is the competition of the Android phone that's going to be in my pocket. So, we'll get into that later on. But, y'all, yeah, I just want to give y'all my first impression. This video was a little bit longer then I wanted it to be, man. But hopefully you guys got some value out of it if you're thinking about picking up the OnePlus 7 Pro in 2020. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. We're going to get into a few accessory reviews, but we're going to get back into this mainly as a phone alone, not so much accessories and everything like that. So stay tuned to the channel, man. Hit that like button. Make sure you smash that sub button and hit that bell so you definitely don't miss on any future videos, especially when we're talking about this OnePlus 7 Pro, man. But technically, I'm about to get up out of here. I will catch you on the next one. Later.